Welcome to the Wavelink TE 7.2 Screen Reformatter video. By transforming legacy-based emulation screens into a more user-friendly experience, organizations get better productivity, fewer errors, better safety, and rapid end-user training. We're going to illustrate how quickly and easily you can revitalize terminal emulation screens using the Wavelink TE 7.2 Screen Reformatter. To do this, we are going to use Avalanche Remote Control, which will allow us to view and directly connect to the mobile computer's desktop and essentially take it over. As you can see, Remote Control gives us an exact replica of the mobile device, regardless of their location over the wireless network. Here, we are giving our saved file a name so that we can locate it after capturing our screens is complete. Once we've connected to our host application, we capture a few of the screens which will be reformatted. You can see that via remote control, we are using the mobile device's keyboard, just as you would if you were physically holding the device. Once we've captured a few screens, we'll copy it from the mobile device to our desktop. Once you've copied the file, you can edit the emulation parameters, which allow administrators to further configure and customize Wavelink TE to meet their organizational needs, such as the font, foreground color, and background color. For purposes of this demonstration, we're going to jump straight into reformatting, but you can read more about emulation parameters in the TE 7.2 documentation. After the save file has been updated to the Avalanche console, we can launch the reformatter. Now that we've launched the screen reformatter, we import our capture file and adjust our screen size. We are taking the captured screens and adjusting them to fit the new screen size of our target device. We can then begin to reformat the screens, which will make them easier for end users to read. You'll see that one of our first steps is selecting text on the original screen in order to associate that original screen with its new reformatted screen. Next, we begin to copy over the fields we want in our new reformatted screen. You can leave fields unformatted or customize the attributes, such as making edits to the font, background color, and foreground color. We'll make our customizations and move on to our next fields. After you've reformatted each of your screens, it's a simple process of saving the file and uploading the updates to the device. Having updated the mobile device, we are now ready to connect and see the new user-friendly changes. Now, for the purposes of this video, we only walked through reformatting a couple of fields, but as you can see from the fully reformatted screen, it's quite a dramatic difference. To further see the before and after, here's a side-by-side -side of the original DataLogic device we captured our screens on and the Motorola device we loaded in the screen reformatter. Within a few minutes, we've shown how quick and easy the process of reformatting emulation screens is with the TE 7.2 screen reformatter. We accomplished this with no changes to the host application code and by running scripts on the mobile device, not a back-end server. For further information on Wavelink TE 7.2 and the screen reformatter, reach out and contact the Wavelink sales rep by emailing sales at wavelink.com.